This is episode number 240 of the Middle Country Public Library podcast. Hello and welcome. Sal DiVincenzo here in the studio with my fabulous colleagues, Nicole Rambo. Hello. And Jimmy Ward. Greetings. Hello, Jim. Welcome back. Thank you. Good wow, to be two here. two episodes in a row. I know. Don't let this go to your head. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> yes, Jimmy's sitting in for Sarah. Thank you so much for being here, Jim. Thank you. Got a nice show today. You know, we're ramping up uh, full programming registration for... Uh, Children and Teens is actually today when this show comes out, which Mm -hmm. is September 15th. Tomorrow for the adult department, September 16th. You know, we've been kind of in that COVID mindset for the last couple of years, but I want people to know that we're coming out of that. Definitely, if you you have a Middle Country library card, now is the time to think about uh, the programs that you want to take. Uh, This fall, we have a lot of great things. We're going to talk about them in a moment. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, The programs, uh, most of the programs we're going to talk about are for our Middle Country Public Library patrons. So you do need a valid library card that is active and not expired. Uh, You can register online at mcplibrary.org or in person in Selden or Center Reach. You can also call us at 631-585-9393. Nine three. Just ask to speak to somebody about registration, and they will patch you through. And again, registration started uh, this morning on Thursday, September 15th for Children's and Teen Program, and tomorrow, uh, Friday, September 16th, uh, 9.30 a.m. for the adults. If you are an out-of-district patron, because a lot of our, not a lot, but some of our uh, adult programs are open to out-of-district patrons, they'll have a little star, a little asterisk. How do you say that? Asterisk. Yes, asterisk. <laughs> next, to, <laughs> next to the program. <laughs> then you will be able to, based on availability, you'll be able to sign up for those on Monday the 26th. Okay? Uh, with that out of the way, why don't we start with Nicole? And sure. You're going to talk about the children and the teen programs that uh, you'd like to highlight for this session coming up. Yes, I would. So uh, Take and Makes, actually, we'll start with that. They're pretty popular, especially over on children's side. And we are... Um, revamping the way that we do them there used to be registration as well but for now and this is both for teens and children they're going to be available at the youth services desks in center region selden open to mcpel card holders only for the first four days so as you mentioned there's some out of district um so if you are out of district after those first four days um out of district patrons can also pick up bags uh quantities will be limited and bags are available on a first come first serve basis Okay. So, you know, so that's like our new uh, take and make. Nice. For the for the children and the teens. And teens, yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. There are a decent amount of them, but again, quantities are limited. So be there when they come out. Be there or be square <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or be very disappointed. <laughs> and then just some other programs that I think will be fun. We have the cricket fall decoration. So we're going to be decorating um, pumpkins using our cricket. Nice. Ooh, wow. Yes. We have like several crickets now floating around. We have all different um, makes. So we have some newer ones. We have some older ones. So that's usually a fun program. Um, a Stranger Things party. So if you're a fan of Stranger Things, a TV show, we're having a party that's Stranger Things themed. Um, our librarian's um, Mrs. Shankles is a uh, very good at decorating and throwing parties like that. So cool. I'm excited to see what she comes up with. Yeah. Another uh, sort of Halloweeny one: a Hocus Pocus interactive movie night. Oh, and great, I think great they're movie. coming out with another one. Aren't they, they are Hocus so. Pocus yeah. too, September thirtieth. Is it yeah. the same people or uh... Disney Plus? It is the same people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they dug like them. That. They dug them up. They, uh, <laughs> they <laughs> brushed them off. And... <laughs> well, that'll be exciting. Yeah, so that'll be a fun one. That was a good one. The Great Give Back is Saturday, October fifteenth. We've been doing this um, for quite a few years now, and it's we have stuff for like adult does things that day, teen does things that day, and so does children. For the teens, it's a fun-filled morning of community service. All are invited to drop in, so it's drop in from 10 to 1. And the mission of the Great Give Back is to provide a day of opportunities for patrons of Suffolk County to participate in meaningful service-oriented experiences. So in the past, we've had various, like, craft things uh, that we, like, donate to local shelters, sometimes animal shelter or, you know, um, food pantries, stuff like that, just different little things you could do throughout the day i think um over an adult they've done planting and seed things sometimes i think so it's fun and like i said it's drop in and then you'll get a um certificate for community service i know teens usually need their certificates of community service you'll get one of those when you complete one of the activities very good certificates are always good yeah it always helps good for for college applications right that's right (laughs) 
on the same note, I guess, um, is community service. We still have all of our community service going on. You could do the buddy programs or the volunteer clubs. All that stuff is still happening. You can join at any time. We have 3D printing coming up too, three doodlers, all that stuff, which we usually have all the time. Doodlers are the ones that they look like a pen and they yeah. just like you just kind of like printing in the air. Yeah. That is, I'm sorry. I can't wrap my head around that. What, what it's is a glue it? Gun. Wait, what is it exactly? <laughs> yeah, but but it actually when you move it around, like there's no, you're not doing it on a surface. You're just moving it in the air. Well, no, you have to have like a base. But yes, you can draw up. You can draw up. Yes, you yeah. can draw up. Yeah, it's like a 3D printer, but it's a pen because it's the same idea. It's the same filament. Yeah. It's like ABS or PLA filament that melts in this pen, and then it's sort of glue gun esque, where you can like go up and you can like literally glue pieces together and make 3D shapes and oh, stuff cool. like that. Yeah, it's fun. It's relaxing actually, because they and they you, you could trace like patterns, like you could draw on things and then okay. like build it. So that's like usually what I do, and it's like very relaxing. It's like cool. um, you know, like coloring, you know, the adult coloring books. Yeah, oh, very nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. yeah, no, they're fun. I like them. So that's some stuff for teen for childrens. Again, take and make bags. Same thing as I mentioned before for teens. We have our fourth annual model rocket launch. Yes, which sounds very excited very about. Very excited about. And again, like that's... explosives in the parking lot. <laughs> we're, we're launching the Saturn V or the Falcon Nine. <laughs> yes, <laughs> both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, adult, teen, and families. And families can yes. participate in that. So that's exciting. Also, like I said, the great give back for children as well. We have Scales and Tails Pet Fair. That's Saturday, oh, that's November always, 5th. It's that's always nice to a see a classic. That. Yeah. Everyone loves yeah. that one. Love that one. Would either of you ever get an animal from there? I know several librarians have gotten animals. I know. A lot of people have adopted, but no. Yeah. If, you know, no. I have enough animals at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Often we have the shots for tots here, so just a reminder of that. Snap to see if you qualify for Snap. We have someone here that will sit down with you and see if you qualify and help you sign up for that, which is good. Bilingual pajama story time. Oh, that's nice. On Tuesday, November 1st. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Sign up for that. Um, Sign language one is happening. So if you get started there, then you can move on to Flashing Fingers. So if you've been to some of the bigger events, you might have seen the Flashing Fingers um, kids. So if you want to be involved in that, you'll start with Sign Language 1 with Miss Jenny, who's the nicest woman on Oh my planet. goodness. Literally. Like, oh literally, my goodness. The <laughs> nicest lady She's you'll amazing. She's ever terrific, meet, yeah. Ever. Like, it was straight out of Central Casting. It's like, we need a really nice <laughs> lady. <laughs> so there she is. Enter, <laughs> enter Miss Jenny. Yeah. So, so sweet. Um, yeah, so those are some... Things. I mean, children, I will say, like if you're listening now, a lot of children's programs do fill up fast. So I would call in now. Um, if you can find the quarterly online, if you know if it came to your house and maybe you tossed it by accident, which happens sometimes, um, or you know you don't have access to it at home, the quarterly, we list all these programs. We have the PDF online. So make note the programs that you want to sign up for and either, like I said, do it yourself. You can log in or give us a call and we'll sign up you up for everything right over the phone. Um, but I would say, especially for children's, do it quickly. Yes. Because <laughs> they, they do fill up. Well, hopefully you're listening to us on your way to work this right. morning. <laughs> this is coming out a little before yeah. the 930 time and you're, you're, you're getting ready. You have your finger on the send button <laughs> yeah. to make that telephone call. Because it gets crazy. Yeah. It yeah. gets crazy. The There's certain ones like Baby's Boogie, Toddler's Tango, all the little dance ones fill up very fast. Cooking ones usually fill up pretty fast if there's a cooking one. Mm-hmm. Things like that um, will fill up fast. So, you know, we want everyone to be able to get in. That being said, you know, you can get on a wait list and stuff. And sometimes other sessions will open up. But, you know, if you if you have the time now, I would call sooner rather than later. Yeah, that's a good point, Nicole. The, yeah. the, the wait lists, mm-hmm. definitely get on the wait list. Yeah. Don't just let it go. Right. Because when, there's, when we get to a certain point on the wait, like if it's 20 mm-hmm. people on the wait list, they'll put another program up. Yep. Yeah. Because it yep. makes sense to do it that. So, yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Nicole, You're for welcome. the Children's and the Teen programs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jim, you're going to tell us uh, some highlights for the adult programs. Sure, what, sure. what do we have coming up in um, this few months? Well, uh, let, we'll start with book discussions. Uh, we have the afternoon book discussion, and uh, then there's this very specific History Buffs book club, Okay, which, of course, I do. So I guess you do. <laughs> please <laughs> come to, to it, yes. by all means. <laughs> no, but um, uh, the afternoon you- one is usually the middle – of the month okay and well actually they may have their own certain schedule but um they they do more of like a broad array of different topics and uh different things like that like history uh for me at least i i tend to 
go towards American history and, and such. Gettysburg, but, perhaps, and Gettysburg, Civil War, perhaps. <laughs> but but we do Other have historical events. But we do have two fabulous colleagues of ours, Abby and uh, Brooke, who choose some different topics, which oh, helps thank out. So God. so it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's it more of a well rounded history okay. buffs book club. Did you announce the book for the for the history books club yet? Uh, um, that one for October sixth, I believe it is, mm-hmm. is called Frida in America by Celia Starr. And that's uh, to commemorate uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. Oh, fantastic. Yep. Excellent. The next one after that, I believe, is mine, which I will be doing, and that is... Uh, the Civil the... War, the best no, of the wars. believe it or not, it's not the Civil War. Oh, what'd you pick? It. What'd you pick? I, it's uh, Horse Soldiers. If you remember the movie 12 Strong. Okay. The one like right at, uh, where it takes place right after 9-11. The, I think they were Army Rangers that uh, went in first and were working with some of like the... Um, the Northern Alliance people to try to take down the Taliban and oh, um, wow. and they did it riding horses. They oh, didn't. Wow. They didn't have. They had to call in air support. Uh, they didn't really, and it was not many of them either. But wow. yet they were able to take different cities and and help you know move us towards nice. eliminating the Taliban okay. at the time. So yeah, so that is my book. And then I believe I don't know the exact title off the top of my head, but the December one, uh, which is December twenty ninth. Is about, I believe, the assassination of William McKinley. Okay. So yeah, so we have a, a variety of That's different a nice topics coming mix. up. <laughs> Very nice. Non Civil War mix. Non Civil yeah. War. I try. I try to do one Civil War one a a, uh, a year a year at okay. least. So okay. that'll be coming next year. But uh, right. <laughs> so um, let's move on to computer classes. Um, we have a, a lot of things that w- if you're looking to start out to learn or looking to improve mm-hmm. uh, what your or what the knowledge Spruce you already it up. have. Yeah. yeah, we have. Um, well, for one, I wanted to mention Book a Librarian because that mm. is a very a very nice thing that we offer. We where do. if you're unsure how to to download ebooks mm-hmm. or to use Hoopla, you can uh, submit this online application and it will go to a librarian who will then sit with you for 30 minutes and go over exactly how to do the different things that you are uh, trying to trouble do. with. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Library Library things. related. Li- oh, yes. <laughs> Libra- yes. Let me let me specify <laughs> yeah. library related. Yeah, library things. We can help yeah. you with, uh, dif- you know, the different apps on your phone yeah. or, you know, things like oh, that. We have programs from, we have programs right. yes. coming up for those. And we do have, um, for instance, Android support group. Mm-hmm. We have the Apple support group. Very good. Um, if you're looking for help with, different Microsoft programs. We have Introduction to Excel and Word, Mm -hmm. uh, Introduction to the Internet. If you haven't been using it the last 30 years, well, here's your your opportunity. Um, We we also offer uh, podcasting, audio, and video. I wonder who's doing that one. (laughs) And uh, YouTube production basics. I wonder who's doing that one. (laughs) Sal DiVincenzo will be on hand for that and ready to go. I'm also trying to get uh, Sarah and Nicole to help me out here. Ah, very nice. Yeah. For the podcast. Yes, and Nicole's looking at me like, yeah, have fun, Sal. Yeah, go ahead. (laughs) I'm on desk that. (laughs) Um, I did want to mention ARP smart driver class. I believe that is that the first time we've had that back since COVID or was it's back. It's uh, yeah. So it is back now. Uh, So that those tend to different from like defensive driving. It's geared more towards uh, older drivers. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm not sure of the age with the ARP people. Yeah. Yeah, But it's definitely for the uh, older drivers. I have an ARP card. I'm an ARP member. Look at you. Yeah. It's a misnomer to think that you have to be. Of a certain and age. And you get the discounts? Yeah. I use wow. Yeah. That is yeah. a lovely she, thing. I always thought she looked a little older than she says. <laughs> I do. Look at my age. This is my uh, skincare routine. And then uh, we also have the, the general defensive driving, which is for really anybody from 18 up until, I mean, even seniors could take yeah. that if they and, wanted and, to. And can I yeah. say something about that class? You know, it's a defensive driving class, but the folks who teach it, mm-hmm. every time people come out of that class, they have a blast oh, yeah. in that mm-hmm. class. Yeah. So if you need to save money on your insurance and have a good time for six hours, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Those yeah, guys I hear are, nothing but good things yeah, every good time stuff, they come yeah. out of the mm-hmm. class. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then we're going to move on, of course, to history and true crime. Um, <laughs> I wanted to mention Golden Age of Aviation on Long Island. That's mm-hmm. uh, a program that's going to be presented by uh, Tom Barry from the um, Cradle of Aviation Museum. Very nice. So, uh, and they presented a couple of years ago for the Apollo during the Apollo program during the uh, 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Great. So uh, they're terrific. Um, Are you going to go to that now? I, I, you know what? I saw the date. I think I got something on that night. Mm. Yeah. That's all right. 
What's the day on we'll that have one? Them again. What's the date uh, on that? That is Thursday, December eighth at seven p.m. in Selden. Yeah, I got a program that night. Ah, sorry. All right, we'll get him back. Don't you worry. <laughs> My grandpa flew planes. Did he? He had his own plane. He fell out. <gasps> yeah. On purpose? No, he got okay. into an accident with another plane. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. <laughs> yeah. And in he, the air. Fell out. And he survived? Mm-hmm. He lost his leg. Oh, my oh. goodness. How, how high up was he? Not wow. a low enough to live, but high enough to lose a leg, I guess. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is, we got to do, this has to be like. <laughs> let's, let's hear more about Nicole's ancestors. Let's start and... a Patreon and have Nicole <laughs> tell that story. <laughs> we can get a couple dollars per listener on that one. Um, then we also have Haunted Theaters of Broadway. Who would have thought oh, there's wow. some a fun one. haunted theaters out there on yeah. Broadway? Yes. Um, it's really just Lynn manuel Mar- Miranda. <laughs> Lynn manuel <laughs> <Sunk. laughs> just in the back. <laughs> He's just going. He's just, Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then another one I just wanted to mention: uh, a ba- Vanishing New York. Um, this is an author, John Lazaro, who discusses different buildings that have been abandoned, but mm. have are, were very historic at mm-hmm. the time that they were in use. And um, he goes through like a, I guess a whole slideshow of different buildings throughout the state. So upstate, nice. oh, cool. New York City, Long Island. So yeah, yeah. it should be a uh, a fun time. Um, you already mentioned the rocket launch so yes. I will yeah. skip that yeah, one adults but will get into it though yeah, yeah adults get yeah. on into it it's a yeah. fun time mm-hmm. you can uh, pretend you're you're starting the, the mission to the moon it, it's it's <laughs> very fun at least that's what I would do yes but um, yes, it's good stuff then we have uh, some performances coming up we have Latinology on October 15th that's a Saturday at 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. We have Sol y Sombra, Spanish flamenco and Latin dance nice. on October 30th. Are they going to be able to dance during that one? People can, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah people, believe it or not, at these um, different performances, they get up and just start dancing. I, I could see middle. that. It's yeah. hard to like sit at a concert. Oh, yeah. you know what especially I mean? with so something like, like that. With that kind of yeah, thing, yeah. I'm sure should they're do getting like up. Half- yeah, no, that'd be cool. Yeah, be nice. so it'll be a good time. Yeah. Um, then we have a, um, it's a fun called Fun Dad Comedy Show with Mark Riccadonna. So <laughs> he goes through his experiences as a father and uh, with a humorous slant. Okay, and, uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be cool. And then uh, we're having another. Uh, I believe this is the second Sondheim program we've had this year. It's called <laughs> uh, the Sondheim Years, and that'll be uh, Sunday, December fourth at two p.m. in Selden. Nice. And Jim, do you want to mention we're having a special? Outdoor oh, yes. event Thank coming you. up that might not be in the book. Yes, right? we recently just booked it, so it's not in the full catalog. Yeah. Um, it's on Friday, October twenty eighth at seven thirty. We're playing The Ring, the oh. movie The Ring for it's a haunted edition of our haunted, MCPL Under the Stars. Haunted movie Under night. the Stars. That's a pretty creepy movie. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. there's so many things that we could we could do with this well, right now. With uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, but you know, we're gonna have a fun old time. Cool. And, uh, we'll be have someone crawl out of the. <laughs> Oh, oh, don't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're hoping to have uh, food trucks. I'm still okay. trying to get them to uh, come on down. But um, yeah, come on down. It'll be a great time. Cool. We had a great time uh, last month with the Goonies. Yeah, people mm-hmm. dressed up as Chunk, and you know, I think it's going to be interesting. The 28th It's probably going to be a little uh, crispy and crispy chilly yeah, in the air. Yeah, so yeah. make sure to bring your blankets, blankets, yeah. bring your own chairs, um, and uh, we'll have a great time. Cool, we'll have a great time. Um, and then, of course. I have to mention it because uh, Mr. DiVincenzo loves it. There you go. Travel tips, Disney Cruise Line. That's lines. right. And I'm sure you're presenting it. I am presenting you sure it, are. of course, yes. <laughs> and then we have Armchair Travel, Haunting Tales from Salem to Long Island oh, on October nice. 24th at 7 p.m. in Selden. That's great. So we have a lot of fun oh, activities, yeah. a good variety coming up. Exactly. So, uh, and yeah, yeah and, and variety is the key word here. Yes. I mean, I think mm-hmm. there's something for everybody. We like... we tend to say that here at the library there's something for everybody yep. regarding our programming so definitely take advantage of it if you have a library card you know i would say the majority of these programs maybe say for uh, some of the craft programs are absolutely free yep so come down especially those shows you're getting a great oh yeah very talented uh, nice, people yeah. and uh you don't have to pay anything come on down exactly well, there's that, also a women's expo. I know you're gonna have a whole. Like, We're gonna have show a special it. show on women's expo. Put it, yes, put but it in you, your calendar now. Yeah. What's the date on that? Uh, Thursday, Nicole? October six. Thursday, October six. And it's indoors. Back indoors. Back indoors. I liked back it outside. Indoors. I thought it went well. With... It went well outside. Yeah. yeah. I think That's a lot right. of people though they miss the cafe. Mm-hmm. They miss the mm-hmm. lunch. They yeah. miss the you know this. There's, there's a kinetic energy that there's like an energy in here yeah. that mm-hmm. happens when it's inside. So yeah. Yeah. So we will have a special show coming up on the women's expo in the next two weeks. So. Definitely uh, keep an ear out for that. Yes. 
Well, thank you, Jim, for thank the you. Adult programs. Thank Absolutely. you, Nicole, for mm-hmm. telling us about the other programs. If you're listening on YouTube, hit the like button and please hit subscribe. We would like to get a thousand subscribers by 2024. Oh, okay. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> very ambitious. <laughs> we blew past Labor Day. <laughs> We're just looking ahead at 2024. That would be nice. Uh, and if you want to listen to older episodes or read our show notes, visit our website, mcplpodcast.com. If you want to email us and say how great we are, it's uh, podcast at mcplibrary.org. And if you don't like us and you think we're terrible, uh, it's uh, Rambo Nicole. And I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Complain to her. Okay. She will handle it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that does it for this episode. For Nicole Rambo and Jim Ward, I'm Sal DiVincenzo. We'll see you on the next show.